Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production. Today's gonna be a short one, at least I hope it is. It's gonna go over the new Melda release uh, version 17. So this one, there's a big change in just the downloader. So before you had to go to the Melda site and download a new version. Now there's an actual program that will just download everything for you automatically. It should make things much easier and faster. So that's good. But I don't want to talk about that too much. You can go on the site and download that yourself and understand that. That's not the fun stuff. So I thought I'd go over the stuff in M Sound Factory that was changed. There was a few other things in other plugins that were changed, but it's mostly M Sound Factory. So we got some new instruments, so I thought we'd check them out. So the first one we have here is called Cyberpunk Bass. It's a little bit loud, but I'll let you hear what it sounds like. It just sounds like this. So this one, you can adjust the mod wheel and I'm not actually playing all that. I just push it down and it like has a sequence that plays automatically. So all you have to do is just hold down one note and, and it does that for you. Like that. And if I move the mod wheel, it'll change this chop function like this. So I think that sounds cool already. I was like, ah, oh, I could use that in a song. Actually, I'm not sure what type of music this is. I've heard this like in soundtracks and things. I actually like this, but I, I don't know the genre. Uh, anyways, so there you have it. There's a bunch of different uh, sequences here. I'll do a few more. They're all really loud. Uh, and you also have like some leads here. And a few plucks. Okay, so there you go. That's that one. Check it out yourself. I think this one sounds really cool. Actually, I might use this in a song myself. Uh, so hats off to whoever made this one. Uh, let's go to the next one here. We have this one, Trap Bass. I'll move my keyboard octaves down. This one just makes kind of like 808 sounds like this. And of course, I'll go through a few of the different things in here. Oh, I should do that. Turn this down just because the other one was so loud, but I'll turn this back up here. Just try to limit it on just in case. Okay, so you get the idea. Simple but useful. Uh, next one here, we have this one, Cyclicity. So this one's arpeggiated, so if I play a chord here. A bit inharmonic, but I can still hear the chords. Let's check out some of the other ones. These are cool, they kind of have like a nice uh, texture and things to them. Okay, that sounds like a famous show, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect that, I didn't, I didn't uh, use that arpeggio with this, so that's the first time I tried that one, I wasn't expecting that. But it sounds cool. Uh, let's go to the next one here. Uh, we have Ethereal Keys. This one's loud. I'm gonna have to turn this down. What you'd expect? Let's try a few different patches here.
So, really interesting one. Uh, kind of, I guess, ethereal sounds. So, I might use this one too. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's go to the next one here. Have this organic scape. Kind of a fun one. Similar to the other one, a little bit ambient. I like these. It has a nice texture to it. Hmm. So kind of like an ambient, ethereal thing going on with this one, too. I like it. Uh, let's go to the very last one here. And Alchemist Whoosh. So it only does whoosh sounds, but this is actually really cool. It does a lot of different ones. Uh, I like this. So let's try a few of them here. Small air whoosh. Try the water one. Oh, I like it. it has a little raindrops at the end. I think I tried this before the ice whoosh. This one's cool. That'd be cool for like a video game. That's a good fire effect. That's cool. So they're all kind of like similar things, but they're different enough, they're interesting. Actually, I like how they label these too. These actually, I can understand what it's gonna sound like before I press it, so. This one's cool. It's just effects, but the effect is cool. So I definitely appreciate that. Uh, the last thing I want to show is just, I think it's like one or two things that are inside M Sound Factory that might be interesting to you. So this one, lots of people have been asking about this. So I just have an oscillator here with a saw wave, basic filter. And let's modulate this. So we'll go in here, move this up a few octaves, set it on LFO1. You probably think like, okay, you do that before. What, what are you trying to show me? If we go inside the oscillator here, like this, you'll see there's a new mode, which we didn't have before. People have been asking for this, and that is the free running mode. So I'll demonstrate this. Let me make it a little bit faster here. So, so you do that, but each time I press it, it's gonna restart like this. It does that. Now I can change it here. This is here before the random. So it's gonna start at a different part of the phase every single time. But we now have free running mode. Lots of people have been asking about free running. You have free running mode now like this. And one of the great things about it is before if I did something like this and played multiple notes like this, Sounds terrible because they're all out of uh, sync. But if I put on free running, they're all synced up to that oscillator, which is great. That's exactly what I and I think lots of other people wanted. So there you have it. That's how you use the free running mode. Just use an os or LFO, I should say, and then set it to free running. It'll run free. There you go. So that's what you can do if you want to do that type of thing. Uh, there's maybe like a few other like small ones that I probably won't demonstrate because they're kind of self-explanatory. Like here is now has lowest lowest is low pass and highest is high pass. So before when I would do something with a modal filter, I had to put uh, filters below or above the sound just so it wouldn't leak into the filter. Now this one here will become a I guess high pass filter uh, or maybe low pass filter here. Uh, so anything below it will be cut off and the highest one, everything above it will be cut off. So that's just kind of a nice thing. It's not so important, but it does save you some time. You don't have to use another bandpass filter after everything, which I think is great. So there you go. 
I don't want to make this too long, but hopefully I gave you an idea of some of the new things you have in M Sound Factory. Be sure to check those out. I think a lot of them are really cool. And when you're doing a project, you might find something that really works for you and uh, can save you a lot of time. I know sometimes when you're working on music, you don't want to make something from scratch. It kind of takes you out of the process. But in this case, you have something all ready for you. You can just drop in there. So there you go. So hopefully this uh, showed you some new stuff. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Uh, be sure to leave any questions or comments there too. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.